What we're doing today is playing bingo. Bingo's part of the Greater Red Wagon campaign that and our annual Christmas fundraiser in support of families right here in our local community. There's, there's tons of activities ranging from sort of staff activities um, in the staff room, a 50-50 draw. Um, there's also um, dress down days as well as um, pantry drives and specifically the bingo that, uh, that we're playing today. So the Red Wagon campaign is an absolute legend around here. Um, I believe it started in 1989, so that's about 32 years ago. It started by a former teacher who's now retired, um, that he was shopping for his nieces and nephews at Christmas. And in his shopping, he um, ran across a mom and her son. Um, and the son kept prompting the mom, like, maybe I'll get this from Santa for Christmas, or maybe I'll get this from Santa. And her answers always led um, the teacher to believe that baby Santa wasn't coming um, to their house at Christmas. And so one of the things that the, the young boy picked out was a red wagon. And so the teacher did pick it up and then they met again at the cash register. And he quickly had the, the red wagon checked out and um, he ran and caught up with the mom and her son and gave the red wagon to um, the mother. And the mother said, no, I can't accept this. And um, the teacher says, yes, because every kid deserves a red wagon. And from there, um, the red wagon campaign started at Doc. I'm involved through Red Wagon through Student Council. Uh, within Red Wagon, uh, this year we're helping out with uh, bake sales, we're helping out with bingo, uh, bingo tickets, and we're also helping out with collecting money for non-uniform days. Uh, throughout the whole Red Wagon uh, campaign, it's really focused on this big community aspect because the bingo, uh, the bingo as itself, it just brings everyone together and it's a really great way for students to come together and have something fun to do over the holiday season while also supporting our greater DOT community. I'm involved with Red Wagon by helping run student council with Tiana and I also go to Senate meetings so I hear other ideas from schools and see how we can work together to make it all work and I also help volunteer and help organize that. Um, while working together to help people who are in our community and also outside of our community, it makes us like come together and realize that during the holiday season, not many people are as fortunate as others and by helping those, we can show that through our faith. The Red Wagon Campaign is a long-standing tradition here at DOC and something that we're really proud of and I think is kind of known throughout our community. Through all of the different activities that we have going on for Red Wagon, we raise approximately $6,000 every year. Um, we also have the collection of pantry items and gift cards. I believe it represents the community of faith by really sort of entering really into the season of Advent, the season of giving and, and being generous and being the hands and feet of Christ to, 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 to each other. We have a great parish school connection um, with St. Bernadette's um, and it's and we work specifically with St. Vincent de Paul on this Red Wagon initiative, so in support of families that are also um, in need during this season at the parish level. We work every year with Dennis O'Connor, the Dennis O'Connor community, to help our neighbours in need. Those are the families that don't have enough to make ends meet or are really having a tough time, especially with this pandemic. Each year they provide us with the funds so through dress down days and different activities like the bingo that we saw today, which was a lot of fun, so that we can buy gift cards which we give to the parents so that they can provide their family with a nutritious dinner at Christmas. They also provide gift cards so that their parents can buy appropriate gifts for their children. Without Dennis O'Connor, we wouldn't be able to run this Christmas giving activity each year. I think it's fair to say that, that we need to thank our school community, um, we need to thank our retirees, we need to thank our staff, we need to thank our community for being such, for responding so generously, um, especially around the Christmas season.